Hi guys, I'm Vindy, and I'm from Adirondack Rangers. I'm here today to talk about what makes up the basic Adirondack Rangers kit. We have three components to this. We have first, our uniform. Second is our primary weapon of choice. And third is our plate carrier or load-bearing equipment. So, the first thing we want to talk about today is our uniform. We have decided to model our uniform after the United States Marine Corps. We're using the United States Marine Corps Woodland Marpat system, and that includes our shirt or blouse. We have pants, which unfortunately you can't see since they're on me and below the table. Then, to keep our pants up, we use a tan raider's belt. These you can find at many military supply stores. And then, to top that all off, we use our tan combat boots. Well worn in as well. Makes for great gameplay. Now, we're going to move on to talk about our primary weapons. Hi, Vindy again. I'm here to talk about the primary weapon of choice for the Adirondack Ranger. We've chosen to use standard compliant primaries, as these are what the U.S. military forces use. What is standard compliant, you ask? Well, that's a good question. Standard compliant simply refers to the type of magazine that your primary will take. Standard Compliant is really just an M4 or an M16 magazine. To start this off, we'll talk about the M16. Basic version of your weapon. You'll notice that it does take this magazine. Works quite well and it's very efficient. The next, one, the next primary we're going to talk about is the M4. This is a basic model of your M4. The player that uses this has added a vertical foregrip. This is his preference and he really likes to run with it. Personally, I do not use vertical foregrips. I typically just grab by the magazine. Same magazine, fits in here just nice and tight. Another version we're going to talk about is a variation of this M4. We have another M4, and on this we have attached an M203 grenade launcher. This is to fulfill the grenade launcher portion of our fire team. We'll talk about the different components of our fire team later, and more specifically on the uses of the M203 in another video. But you will notice, it takes the exact same magazine. Another model that you may see very often is the Scarlight. Same magazine, has a different look, has a little bit of a different feel, and this is more primarily designed for close quarters combat. It's still a very efficient and very effective weapon though. So Matt, every Airsoft player likes to tailor himself differently. These are the models that we use. And now we're going to talk about what the typical loadout of the Adirondack Ranger is. In front of us, we have a plate carrier. And on this plate carrier, we have Molly webbing, which all of our components are attached to, as well as a cover bun. And there's more Molly webbing on the back, which we will talk to a little bit, talk about a little bit later. First thing we're going to talk about is the one point sling. The way I have this one point sling set up goes through the uh, shoulder straps of the plate carrier. This is a personal preference. This allows all the weight to be evenly distributed on your shoulders and into your back for carrying your primary. Great for if you're going to run it for a long time or if you just don't want it digging into your neck. Next thing to talk about on the front is an admin pouch. Inside this admin pouch Places to put things, such as maps or pens, or whatever really small items you have, as well as different types of Velcro patches. U.S. flag, a Navy Jack, and the Adirondack Rangers team patch, which is always displayed proudly on our plate carriers. Below that, we have a double stack standing compatible magazine holder, holds six standing magazines. To the left, we have another two standing magazines, as well as a, two more pistol magazines to be held on front of that. To the right of this, we have a radio pouch. I've chosen to put the radio pouch in the front for ease of access to my radio if I need to change channels or if for some reason my headset stops working. Next, we have a utility pouch. This is a little variant of a utility pouch. Just allows for more map stowage and more admin capability than what you would have in the admin pouch. Still able to store lots of other things in here though. 
turning the plate carrier around a little bit more, you'll notice I have my hydration carrier. And in here, we put our hydration bladder or camelback bladder, and we run the drinking hose through the straps to the front. On this, this is a medical pouch, which every player out in the wild or out in the field really should have something with a basic med kit in there. You never know when something can happen, and you never know when it will be needed. Turning around a little more, now we're on the left side, we have my holster. This is a holster for my secondary weapon, which I've chosen to run on my cummerbund, vice on my leg. And again, this is all pers personal preference. This is the basic loadout of what an Adirondack Ranger needs. None of this is required when you first start the team. Obviously, you're required to have your uniform and the primary weapon. This is all stuff that comes with it as you start playing and you get into more advanced play styles. Stay tuned for more videos on personalized loadouts of each of the Adirondack Rangers and on weapons reviews. Have a great day and play safe.